come here like I've got you and she ran back to me and I just cuddled her and like she was my own child like she was my own baby and I said don't worry like I'll protect you and I was kissing her and it was me I'm gonna get emotional talking about it again it was me as a child so anyways it was a really crazy experience I said to you guys this year for me it's just all about healing and growing and learning and just being the most vibrant beautiful sparkly version of myself and I'm so excited to just completely lean into that yeah I want to be as cool as you, you know? So I gotta watch my caffeine intake. You don't have enough years left to be that point down. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> it's okay to feel fresh in this. And I love that, so. Yeah. go and watch the sunrise. I used to do this, some of you guys might remember, all the time with Miller and Link because they've always been like super early risers. And little Regi girl, she loves her sleep in. So I feel like it's something that I used to go do like every day, but I haven't actually prioritized in so long. And it's just such a beautiful way to start the day. Miller and Link here up, but they're just watching telly. I asked them if they wanted to come because I was going to bring both of them with me, like the good old times. And they were both like, no, we don't want to. So then I nearly didn't go. And then I was like, you know what? I should just go on my own. I feel like since kind of like going through the feels of everything um, and just really like opening myself up and being vulnerable and trying to heal and work through things, I've been really um, codependent on doing things with other people. I feel like going out on my own, I don't know, it's like a, a bit of a big deal for me right now. So anyways, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go do this for myself and once I do it once, and I know I can do it, I'm probably gonna try to do this a few times this week. What a beautiful way to start. My Sunday. Somewhere above the water, my lungs are tired from running for a long time. My feet got blisters, but maybe I've been wrong. If I love a little harder, if I love. for a bit the sunrise isn't up yet but it's getting close so I thought I may as well walk along the beach breath work is one of those things if you have anxiety I would highly recommend to try I feel like it's really made a difference and it's easier than what I thought just make sure that when you search you search guided breath work and it will literally just tell you exactly what to do and it's crazy how much it can give you energy if you do it a certain way and how much you can calm you down and relax you if you do it in a different way. I'm very new to breath work and I know I've got so much more to learn, but anything that I learn that I think is really helping me, I really wanna share with you guys because I know that heaps of you are going along this self-love, self-care journey with me. Yeah, it's a forever journey. There's always new things that pop up and different challenges along the way, things you even move through and then pop back up later on. Again, I said to you guys this year for me, it's just all about healing and growing and learning and just being the most vibrant, beautiful, sparkly version of myself and I'm so excited to just completely lean into that, have a year of being like really vulnerable, really open, sometimes probably a little bit messy when letting things come up, but yeah, I'm just like so ready, so ready for this journey, but I deserve it. I deserve to feel just free and abundant and like the best version of myself. That once you actually get to the point where you're like wanting to prioritize it and it's like your number one focus and you're not making up excuses to have to deal with they've never dealt with or move on with certain things until you make that that choice until you realize like I am worthy to feel good about myself I deserve to put myself first like all those things you're not gonna do it but I feel like I'm just so ready but look how beautiful it is <laughs> Kurt, can you grab the cat morning are you guys gonna come for a beach walk with me tomorrow morning you gonna come with me yeah I'm gonna go down early again. Do you wanna come with me? Yeah, do you wanna come with me tomorrow morning? I don't know. Before school? You can come down with me early. We can go watch the sunrise. Uh, hmm? Food. Yummy. What do you got on yours? I've got butter. Mmm. Yummy. I've got butter. Yum, yum. Butter tastes 
better on toast. Butter is nice on toast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like butter on toast too. It tastes so good. Oh, yum. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are funny. How are you, husband? Good. Did you make me coffee or no? No. It's fine. Yeah, I said I'm deciding whether to oh have one or not. Oh my god, I fully. I've been contemplating guys going off coffee. I've been contemplating it. But I have half strength. I have half strength anyway. So it's not like I'm having like a double shot first thing in the morning. I've been having one half strength and then the rest of the day I have decaf. That's what I've been doing like the last couple weeks. I have that and a couple of cans of coke. Yeah, well you can handle the caffeine. You're very cool, calm and collected. Very cool. Yeah. I want to be as cool as you, you know? So I've got to watch my caffeine intake. You don't have enough years left to be, get to that point, darling. <laughs> Do you guys notice what Reggie did to my bag yesterday? I oh, know. She grabbed my lipstick out and put it all over my bag. I was like, no! Hey, you! That's, hey, you! That's bad. Mm. You have to get a new one. Mm. Yeah, I tried to get it out, but maybe if I soak it in water. Yeah, but I don't know. It's a waterproof yeah. lipstick, so I don't think I have too much hope soaking in water. Wipe. Yeah, I tried a dental wipe. That was what I was thinking too. Dental Didn't wipe. work. Hmm. Morning, Princess Reggie. Morning, Princess. Morning, Princess. Hey. Chewy. Oh, I love them. They're the ones Dad found in the bottom of the pram. Yeah. I do not know why there's so many flies. We are heading off. We are going to go take the kids out to go get coffee from the coffee shop. And then where are we going after that? To the park. To the boat park. Are you cold? I'm it's cold. Dropping, it's definitely dropped a little bit. Yeah. The temperature is definitely dropping, guys. Ooh. It's always so much warmer upstairs in our room. So here I am wearing like a little strapless dress. Sleeping what? Sleeping princess. Sleeping princess. Are you sleeping princess? Sleeping princess. What's that? Is it Steve? Or sleeping Steve? Oh, is that a show or something? Steve, I don't know. Can you check for cars? Weird, hey. We'll check for cars. And I'll run down. Oh, you're going to go all the way down the ramp. fast. This is like the little cat on the street, but some boys harass her, hey, sometimes, so she gets a bit grumpy. Yeah, we'll I reckon we just let her come to us. You know, usually sometimes she walks up and starts coming over to us. I reckon yeah. we just let her. I saw this for real life. It's mm -hmm. not a laugh. Day when we went to like our park, oh, I went up onto the hills and there was this family that was like cuddling with her for an hour and then and then it scratched the kid. I always just let her come up to me. I give her a pat. She wanted a pat, so I <laughs> gave her a pat. She did. I think you can read her well. Is that is that wet nose? It's a bag! Gosh, she's done it so many times. Tip -toe, tip -toe. Oh, what she got, Reese? You got Lego. 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 Are you building a train track link? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gee, these guys are going so fast. We came down here on Monday, guys. I love it at this park because it's got a barbecue over here. So we cook dinner. The kids love it to play on it here. And there's also a toilet, which is um awesome because everyone always needs to go to the toilet when you go somewhere like this. Yeah, so it's so handy, but I love taking them here. You want to get out and play? Oh. We should do that again, dinner down here. It was so easy, wasn't it? No cleanup. I oh, know. I love no cleanup. Do we have um mints for rissoles? Um, yes, I bought mint. Oh, we could do it tonight. Could probably do it, eh? Mm. Go, Riggy! Hello! Whoa! <laughs> you gonna do it? Oh! <laughs> Ready and push! Woo! <laughs> what are you doing, Miller? Some breaths? Why are we doing some breaths? Because I'm mad. I'm mad in a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit angry and also a little bit sad because I'm trying to, I've done the race 10 times with Lincoln on my scooter, but I kept, but I, I don't know how to turn yet, but I, I don't know. My brother's, my 
Lincoln's only four and I'm six, but how does he know how to turn it? I don't know how to. So I, I went straight and then I just kept going straight and tumbled off my scooter into the bush. So feeling frustrated, it's okay to feel frustrated. Yeah. It's okay to feel it. That's all right. That's totally normal feeling. So it's okay. But also the reason you're feeling frustrated is because you're trying something new and you're trying really hard and that's amazing. Because if you never feel frustrated, that means you're probably never really trying something new or doing something that's hard. And that's how you get better and you grow and learn, huh? Mm -hmm. It's just a feeling. It's okay to feel frustrated. And I love myself. Yeah. So now what do you want to do? You want to do 60 breaths? Yeah. So we go in, we hold up the top, remember, and then out. So. You ready to go try again? Oh. Ooh. You ready to go try that again? That just made me frustrated again. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I just got my thing jammed in there. <laughs> do you um do you wanna go try again? Yep. Can you watch me this time so if I fall you can help? Yeah, of course. And remember what mummy said. Just go a bit slow and you gotta lean with your body, okay? Okay. Okay, you got this, babe. I'm not really as good as a scooter as my brother. But Linky practices a lot more, and you're doing a great yeah, job by practicing now. School every day. Exactly right. That's so exactly I don't right. even like really get to practice that much. And you do a great job at scooter riding. And I'm, but I'm better at bike riding than him too. It's See, everyone has their strengths and everyone has their weaknesses. Whatever you focus on and spend time on, you get better at. I'm better at bike riding than my brother, and he's better at scootering than me. Perfect. Look at you go! Are you using your body this time? Yeah, you're doing amazing! Okay. You ready for the big one? Yeah, you got it. Ah. That's okay, take your time. Just go slowly and then eventually you can go faster. I have been doing, guys, a lot of inner child work at the moment. Gosh, I've realized that I've got a lot that I need to do and I had this like massive realization when I was aware of the Ultimate Girls Day Out where the love and the safeness and the support that I need, like I can reflect that onto my kids and I can also give that to myself. I had this like massive big experience when I was there. So I actually filmed as soon as I finished up. I'm gonna put that clip in here for you guys to have a little bit of a watch of. Very vulnerable. When you watch it, be open-minded because it is a bit out there as well. Um, but I hope somebody gets something from it or somebody, it makes somebody wanna go and experience it. Um, or if somebody else has experienced it, it kind of makes them feel like others have experienced the same thing too. Hello guys, I'm outside my house. I was just about to go inside, but I was like, I really want to have a chat with you right now. While everything's nice and fresh, I've just done the ultimate girls day out with Ashy. Oh, don't mind my face, this is why I look like this. It was the most incredible day. I've never ever in my life done proper breath work. I've done like breath work from home, done it on like YouTube videos and stuff like that and tried to like follow it like that. But this was like insane. Like it was so deep and I, was so naive. I had no idea what to expect and it was a lot. I just had to call my girlfriend to explain it to her because it was like such a big experience and I was kind of nearly like, do I share it? Don't I share it? Because it is a very vulnerable thing and it was something that I felt very like vulnerable about, especially in the moment. It was just like intense, but I thought it would be a really cool experience to share with you guys. But basically um, it started off and you do like this deep breathing and it was fine. I started after a while feeling like a little bit tingly and I was like oh that's a little bit weird but I was like maybe it's in my head because I went in very naive like I said I had no idea what to really expect um and anyways kept going kept going it was an hour and a half breath work session and then I slowly started feeling myself like curling in I don't even know what that word is it's like when you start to like I don't know I was like flexing and curling and it was guys it was the most bizarre thing of my life I really did not expect these things to happen and the reason I would share it too is because I was talking to my girlfriend about it and she's like I had no idea that it was like that so basically what happened when I was like doing my breath work for me personally is um yeah that happened I started to tense up and everything like went really tense and I started to shake I was shaking like the, the best way I could explain it is like you know when you're on labor and you're at I think it's like eight centimeters when you're about to give birth and your body just goes into like that freak out zone and you shake and your body like starts to like seize up a bit that's exactly what it felt like and then I had sobs after sobs after sobs just coming in waves. Like I would think that I'd like gathered myself again and then like another huge sob would come. And it was 
Like I have never, ever, ever cried like that since as long as I can remember. It was really intense, but it felt so good and it felt so like freeing. And basically the first wave when it happened, um, there was a lot of childhood trauma that came up for me. So there was a lot of childhood trauma um, and that was like me just kind of allowing myself to feel the way that I want to feel about it because I feel like I've condensed it for a lot of my life. I feel like I have um, always swept things under the rug and not really dealt with some things that have happened from my childhood. Then the second wave came to me and it was me as a little girl and it was me like letting go of her when I was sobbing and it was me like saying goodbye, like it's okay, like you can leave now, blah, blah, blah. And then the third wave when it came over me, it was like, she like turned and looked back at me and then I was like, and it like doesn't even really make sense, but this is just what happened. So I'm just being like 100% honest right now. And I was like, um, come here, like I've got you. And she ran back to me and I just cuddled her and like she was my own child, like she was my own baby. And I said, don't worry, like I'll protect you. And I was kissing her and it was me. I'm gonna get emotional talking about it again. It was me as a child. So anyways, it was a really crazy experience. And if you have not experienced it, I don't expect you to understand because I feel like if somebody tried to understand, tried to explain this to me before I experienced it, I'd be like, what are you going on about? It was the most, most amazing experience. And I'm gonna go walk inside now and I told her, I'm gonna get a little, I'm gonna get an old photo of me from when I was a child and I'm gonna go stick it on my mirror where I do my makeup every single morning and I'm gonna look at her every single day and just give her the love that she deserves. So yeah, it's been um such an incredible day. I feel like it's I've really leaned into it as well. Like when I went, I was like, I'm gonna go here with an open mind, open heart, I'm gonna be really vulnerable. And I feel like I really kind of fell into every single task and thing that happened because um I I let I gave myself the space to be able to. And it was such an incredible experience. And I also did an ice bath, ice bath for three minutes, which was so hard at the start. Like when I first went in, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so intense. I don't even know if I can do this. But then after the first like 10, 20 seconds, it actually got better. And the longer I was in there, I actually felt like it kind of got easier, um, which was good. But yeah, such an amazing day. I just really want to kind of fill you guys in on that experience. Very open, very vulnerable. I feel like so many of us hold on to things from when we were younger. We think that we've like kind of dealt with it. Um, but that was like years of built up, built up of me suppressing, like completely suppressing what that little girl had felt and what she, needed to let out but felt like she couldn't so yeah it was a really nice feeling um to actually let it all out anyways i'm gonna go inside and see my babies i end up leaving early because linky's got an ear infection from the pool so we'll be on our way but i'm home now so i'm gonna go help cody get them down to bed Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave today's vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.